Mais rien à vous dire. Ça me tue tout dans mes Pour que Dieu a une Je t'aimais et que j'ai pas fait. Mon contour est bien attaché Dieu. J'ai fait mes défauts et je me dis je l'avoue. Ça m'écrit comme mon défaut à une seule femme. Je dis I love you. I love you.
Let me undo this. Take the noose from around my neck. You get me? Sure do. Now, who was knocking at the door? Who was knocking at the door? Who was knocking at the door? My inner call begins to weep, dear friend. Behold, also, my I am deep down in days, wandering in the shrouds, buried in Lincoln's ways, out through the glass of morass. I wonder, I wonder why are we born in this earth? My brother, I was a, I was a taco caca In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He was wearing the cotton, unforgotten. Man of spirit. What they use? They use the Holy Bible as liable. They take away the names of men, women, and children for sugar for chocolate, for a good time, man. We are born in other time and space and place and race and trace under the light. I wonder, why are we here? My dear friends, we are here to enjoy good cake, tea, sugar, and remember, the joy of beer, the innocence of beer, the ways were always seen. I drink the meat tea. I feel the liberty. Freedom, they say. Freedom. What is in the south? Is in the south? In Lincoln Fields. For pinching air, I'll be lucky okay, just to take a, a brown loaf of bread. That's all I had. And they put me in that cell and I was in hell. My dear friend, can you not feel it? I was like dust coming from the old stone, whispering, beating. Get your vitamin D. <laughs> Get your vitamin D. Get your vitamin D. D, 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 your vitamin D. Hey, get 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 your vitam
Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin D. Vitamin, vitamin helps me to be free. Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin D. Get your vitamin D. Thank you, everybody. There was just pure improvisation. My name is Stickman. I'm a drummer, percussionist. I know Lucy and Gavin, but my son brought me here some years ago, wasn't it? A year ago, was it? A year ago, yeah. And I find this place incredible, very special. This little piece, it dates back to, I work with a lot of Caribbean elders in Nottingham. In fact, I'll tell you a little about myself. I was born in Bury, Lancashire, 1962. My mum comes from the island of Barbados. She came here in 1955. She met my dad. We were strict Christians, brought up as strict Christians in the household, but it was a bit chaotic. And um, I always used to think, you know, when you eat food, yeah. I said, yo, mum, I was only five, and I said, mum, mum, this food tastes of love. I said, David, the love always, I mean, the food has always got to taste of love. If it doesn't taste of love, it means you're ill. <laughs> you know, and it's that thing that the importance of food, and it also, if I can remember this poem, actually, but that's all right with the music, it's sweet. It's... It comes from a Caribbean elder, and she said for her, like my mum's from Barbados, but I met this elderly Caribbean woman, Mrs. Pinnock, and she says, Back in Jamaica, we used to have a donkey called Charlie. We used to say, Broke it too, boy, broke it too, good morning, good morning. And it relates to Windrush. I don't know if you heard of Windrush yeah. going on, but this is going back to 1998, so it's like 50 years before that. She said, When I come to England, she said, I was dressed in flamingo, pink silk, carrying my. Um, what's it, Sheffield steel knife and fork and a Staffordshire pottery and she brought it back to England because her brother in the Merchant Navy used to send it out she said, well, I'm in England, I come to England so this is a memory of her with her donkey so it's called Caribbean food mm -mm, my yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Caribbean food Island food puts me in the right mood. As I walk my stick in the park, I remember market days. I travel hill to hill, valley to valley, with my donkey called Charlie. Brook it too, boy, brook it too. Good morning, good morning to you with mango, yam, sweet potato, sour sop. Pineapple and bread food. Homegrown Jamaica. Homegrown Barbados, homegrown St. Kitts, Trinidad and Tobago, homegrown. Come and buy, come and try. Fresh banana, fresh everything. My African Caribbean food, island food lives in me, the air lives in you. Ingredients, spices and herbs from market days. In the Nottingham, Manchester, Bristol, Birmingham, Leicester, Lockwood. I still eat my homegrown island food, yes man, makes me feel good. Food in my tummy, food in my blood makes me feel good. A tropical sunshine burning deep from within. Yes, man, the way to win is never giving. What must you do before you have a meal? What must you do? Say grace. Say grace and what else? Wash your, hands. Wash your hands, yes I tell him so After when you arrive in England Chucked in certain small fields of bread I need to bring Oh, Caribbean food, island food Travels along this island trip HMS Windrush Name me Hush HMS Windrush Name me Hush I keep coconut juice, shave ice and syrup Pineapple and breadfruit, guava jelly and guava jam, Caribbean food, I love food, puts me in the right mood, oh yeah yeah yeah, Caribbean food, I love food, puts me in the right mood, I wear yo-yo lover's food, I 
some performance poetry and this guy says excuse me mate you've got like 45 people he's for a cup of tea like and I said yeah yeah so I've got him something to eat and he said I just come out you know and he's like pulls his eye sleeve up you see this I was on a dish and like he's been been living on the streets for like four weeks now come out from a home and when I'm talking to him, you can feel it. It just really made me think. And I went and did the performance and come back and I said, but when I left him with this sandwich and the drink, I said, what's your name? And he goes, Jack. So this one's called Cracker Jack. <laughs> Crack, be nimble. Crack, be quick. Crack, heated over the candlestick. Pop, 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 falls the body of Jack, dropping like a brick. Thank you. So, I don't know where Jack is, but that's to Jack that I met from Liverpool. Like, when he just goes to the place, you know, just like this, and it's it's smart, isn't it? It's just mm -hmm. the way it used to be, you know. Like me, me ma, me pa, like, I was, I was born in a strange situation. You know what I mean? Like me, my mum was, my, my mum was me, me dad's, you know, working in a, like, my mum was just, she was like, She's just being used and I was born in a situation where I didn't know me ma and pa. And I used to, when I was, by the time I was nine years old, I used to break into school f for be for tins of baked beans. Baked beans, that's what I used to get for my brothers and sisters. Baked beans and I used to, I was nine years old, I used to get tins of beans and eggs. I used to run home, try and feed them, while my mum and pa are out doing what they're doing. I had nothing, I didn't know what to do. So what I used to do, I couldn't read or write, right? I couldn't read or write, learn it properly. So all the kids, all I could do was go to the shop, like, and go and paint sweets with them, you know, so, so they can like me. So I used to give them gobstoppers and Mars bars, crisps, and the teacher used to say, sit there, Jack, and stop it. So I used to sit there and say, fuck you, teacher. And so I used to jump out, go, go to the shop and give it for them to just to be my friends. Then one night, this teacher come and get me, right? And he called me a really horrible word. So I said, fuck you, teacher. So I ran back in the shed, right? Fucking got me granddad's paraffin in there. Right, I got it. And I went, I broke into stool, right? I emptied the fucking, what is the paraffin over the sea? Fucking let it all man. It's like, it was like fucking, uh, what's it? Uh, what's it? Bonfire night. And I was dancing, yeah, yeah, get you right. No, oh, it's in his grave, that like, fucking grave. And then I swing up and the fucking room with his fucking head out. And then I went home, had some iron brew, fried some eggs from beans for me brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. I don't think I can match that last. That <laughs> <laughs> was so good, by the way. Um, yeah, the characters are a young man, a wet nurse, a young girl, a priest, a knight, a cobbler, a beadle, a peddler, a bored, a huge voice, and a judge. And we start on stage with a young man and a young girl. 
I love you. And everything is beautiful. You love me, and everything is beautiful. I love you, and everything is beautiful. You love me, and everything is beautiful. I love you. Face me. There. I love you. I'm great. I'm full. I'm lucid. I am dense. We love each other. We are intense. Oh, how beautifully the world is built. Silence. There is a noise of an immense wheel. We're turning and moving in the air. A hurricane separates them. At the same time, two stars are seen colliding in the sky. From them fall a series of legs and living flesh with feet, hands, scalps, masks, colonnades, porticos, temples, amblics falling more and more slowly, as if falling in a vacuum. And three scorpions, one after another, finally a frog and a beetle, which come to rest with desperating slowness, nauseating <laughs> slowness. The sky has gone mad! Let's, let's hurry away from here. He pushes the girl away from him. Enter a medieval knight with a gigantic armor, followed by a wet nurse, holding her breasts in her hands, puffing because her breasts are so swollen. Let go of your tits! Give me my papers! Ah! 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 Damn, what is the matter with you? Our daughter! Over there! With him! Quiet! There's no girl there! I'm telling you, they're screwing! <laughs> what the hell do I care if they're screwing? Incest! <laughs> Midwife! <laughs> Plunging her hands deep within her pockets, which are as big as her breasts. <laughs> Pimp! <laughs> she throws her papers at him. The wet nurse rushes out. He gets up, and from each paper, he takes a huge chunk of Swiss cheese, and suddenly, he coughs and chokes. <coughs> Show me your breasts! Show me your breasts! Where did she go? He runs out. The young man comes back. I saw. I knew, I understood, here in the public street, the entrance to the church, the red light of the brothel, the scales of justice. I can't stand it any longer. Like shadows, a priest, a cobbler, a beadle, a board, a judge, a peddler arrive on stage. I've lost her. Give her back to me. Who, 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 who? My wife. Your wife? You're kidding! <laughs> kidding? Or well, maybe she's yours. Maybe she is. <laughs> he runs out. The priest leaves the group and puts his arm around the neck of the young man. Which part of your body do you refer to most often? <laughs> to God! <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We're no longer, we no longer hear through that here. You have to ask the earth, volcanoes and earthquakes. We wallow in the little obscenities of man in the confession box. That's life. Huh. That's life. Then everything is shot to hell. Of course. At this moment, night suddenly falls on stage. The earth quakes. There is a furious, furious thunder and zigzagging of lightning in every direction. Through the zigzags, all the characters can be seen running and bumping into each other, falling and getting up and running like crazy. The enormous hand seizes the board by a hair, which bursts into flame and grows huge before our eyes. Bitch! Look at your body! The board's body is seen, absolutely naked and hideous beneath her blouse and skirt, which becomes transparent as glass. Leave me alone, God! She bites God on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> and the of blood lacerates from the stage. 
through and through the biggest flash of lightning, the priest can be seen making the sign of the cross. And again, all the characters are dead, and the corpses lie all over the ground. Only the young man and the board remain, devouring each other with their eyes. The board falls into the young man's arms, and with a sigh of having an orgasm. <laughs> Tell me how it happened to you. <laughs> the young man hides in his head in his hands. The wet nurse comes back carrying the young girl under his arm like a bundle. The young girl is dead. The board drops on the ground where she collapses and becomes as flat as a pancake. <laughs> the wet nurse no longer has her breasts. Her, her chest is completely flat. Where did you put them? <laughs> where is my Swiss cheese? Oh. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> she lifts up her dress. The young man wants to run away, but he's frozen and petrified like a puppet. As if suspended in the air with the voice of a ventrilo ventriloquist. <laughs> Don't hurt mummy. <laughs> she devil. He hides his face in horror. A multitude of scorpions crawl out from beneath the wet nurse's dress and swarm between her legs. Her vagina swells and splits and becomes tr transparent and glistens like the sun. <laughs> the young girl, getting up as if dazed. Ah, oh, the virgin. That's what they were looking for. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>